Today's design is my take on the Baroque pattern. For this design, you'll need a thin art brush along with the basics, tin foil for your polish palette, acetone and a brush for cleanup, paper towel, and polishes. Mine are listed below. It's important not to begin your nail art until your base color is fully dry. The idea with these Baroque patterns is to have a mirror image. So for my middle finger, I'm basically mimicking the design that's on my ring finger. And you can just kind of follow along what I do here. One of the things that I do find easier is to do each of the nails together. So as you add this design on your ring finger, you would then go add it to your middle finger. You'd then move on to the next piece of the pattern. Rather than do one full nail, um, I just did that for the sake of the video, just to help with the filming. It's also important to clean your brush often throughout this process so that your polish doesn't get tacky like mine did there. You may find you have areas that you need to touch up. Just switch and use the base color polish on your brush and just touch up those edges. If there's any part of this design I wish I could do over again, um, I wouldn't add this line along the cuticle with this reddish brown polish because it kind of looks at quick glance like your cuticle is infected. Not so attractive. You may need to kind of line up your nails and just mark the spot where your line begins just to help with your mirror image. Now unfortunately I didn't even realize I didn't quite have the mirror image right with these two scrolly parts here and didn't even notice while I was wearing the nails. It wasn't until I went to edit the video that I noticed they weren't quite mirror image, but that's what happens when you're painting your nails with the camera set up. You're not holding your hands like you typically would when you're painting your nails, or I'm not anyway. I know I'm not really walking you through the steps on this nail tutorial, but Really, the best I can say is just kind of follow along what I'm doing and do what works for you. Do what fits on your nail and start out simple and kind of increase the difficulty as you get used to doing this type of a design. Now, not only can you do touch up with the base color when you need to, you can also scrape off the area you're not happy with, which is what I do here wasn't quite happy with the placement of that brown scroll and I just applied some more of the base color and allowed it to dry before I begin redoing that piece of the nail. Again if you were doing each of the pieces on one nail and then mimicking on the other I think it really would make matching up the mirror effect a lot easier and that's normally how I would do it if I wasn't filming. And after all that hard work, make sure you let your nail dry fully before you add your top coat so you don't ruin your design. Here's an up close look at that beautiful glitter polish. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please comment, share, subscribe, and thumbs up are always appreciated.